G'day guys, how's it going? Jimmy Bags here, and today we're having a gaze at the Resident Evil HD remake, which is a remake of the 2002 version of the, which was a remake of the 1998 version. Uh, this came out in 2015, which at the moment is last year, and for anybody watching in the future. Um, the first question I've got for myself is, do I want to play as Jill or Chris? I've never played the original, or the original remake, so, <laughs> um, this is all pretty new to me. I've heard about it, like everyone that games has heard about it, and obviously the movies. Um, I think I'm going to go with Chris to start off. It's got a really old school feel, like it really feels like a 90s game. Um, and the style of it sort of reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy VIII. Alpha the three rounded backgrounds and 3D models. Situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Uh -oh. Freaky. Is there something there? <sighs> oh, fuck. Jeez. Good boss. Yeah, the original and both remakes received really good reviews and hey, critics all back. loved it, so pretty keen to play it. Chris this way. Well, a bit of a long intro, but um, let's get into it. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry oh, is. I wonder why we can't play as Captain Wesker. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? 
What was what? I'll go and check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, right. of course. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Why, why don't all three of us go check it out? Chris? I'm gonna be smarter. Take care. Yeah, right I love. Yeah. What's behind door number one? Ooh, here we go. Uh, ink ribbons. It's you save things. You can only save if you have an ink ribbon. I probably shouldn't really save right now, but I will. Just in case. Don't want to have to go through the uh, intro again. Sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. Usually it is, but sometimes you're better off just going for it. Now I'm going to get a hang of the, um, This is the inventory, but you also see your health. Oh man, I'm just getting such creepy vibes walking around this place. I've only got limited space, but I remember. And what's behind door number two? Zombies? Is it zombies? Nope. Oh man, I don't want to walk down there, it's dark, it's scary. Oh man, this whole place is. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh fuck. Gosh. Okay. Oh shit! Ah! Well, that was silly. I'm paying attention then. I'm pretty sure if you don't burn them or cut their heads off or something, they can get back up after you kill them. Oh, at least I got that. I need to aim. Ah, oh, I forgot that. I want to aim. Luckily I saved, because otherwise this would be very quick indeed. Or quick to then have to redo. Ah! Really need to get a defensive item or something. I mean, you're supposed to run away in the game, you're not really supposed to fight them. I think I'll stick with that. Oh, oh no! Yeah, of course. I thought I was going to die then. Alright, well, let's do this a little bit smarter. Whoa. That's cool. At least I've got a trophy for that. Alright, well, I thought I'd try this a little bit smarter this time. Yes, definitely. Glad I saved. Fear can't kill you, but the zombies can. Okay, so I gotta go rediscover the zombie. Pick up anything else that I've picked up. It's just the emblem, I believe. Might even try going around the other side of this table, see if there's anything down here. Nope. Sweet. Let's go. And again, door number two. What if I open one of the other doors here? Can I go through here? Oh, of course. Okay, so I'll go discover this. Let's do this. 
Oh yeah, there we go. Quickly grab that videotape and then get out of here, hopefully before I get bit. Yeah, what's better that time? Get my ass out of there. This really reminds me of when I was a kid playing PS1 games. A lot of the games back then were good for different reasons than today. Still prefer a few of them. Wesker? Uh oh, where are they? Jill? Where did they go? Did the zombies get them? Are they even zombies or just infected? Probably more accurately infected. Ooh, and go. Now I need to equip that, which is done in the menu, of course. Ah. Oh man, this is pretty hard to aim. It'll take me a little while to get used to that. Again, it's supposed to only be used in emergencies. The game encourages you more so to run away and fight. That's pretty cool. Oh shit. And what's behind door number four, I think this is now? Forgot for number three. Oh, what? It took me back out, wasn't there? Wasn't there something else in there? Did I get, did I get all turned around and confused? Oh, yeah, of course I did. Okay, well, how do I jump off this thing now? There we go. Something in the top of the Ah, oh, okay, so that's gonna be a puzzle. You have to work it out. It's a very puzzle based game. Again, a lot of the games back at the time were pretty puzzle based to make up for the lack of other things. Ah, uh, I'm so scared. Nothing here. What? What was that? Oh, the sword. <laughs> Is that just a new? Oh, okay. Dagger, the defensive item. Sweet. That will save me if I do get attacked. Is that equipped or not? Now it's equipped. I think. I hope. I've only got one still, but oh god. So I'm gonna have to use up that one now, am I? Am I? Oh yeah. I shouldn't have bothered wasting shots on him. Oh, okay. Still needed to shoot him a few times after stabbing him. Well. I don't like the fact that he snuck up on me and like that. Back to the main room. And now to door number four. Because that wasn't a door. I just walked through an area. Oh. All these bloody emblems I'm going to need. Okay. What's down here? Something else scary, I bet. Oh god. What is that? I want to know what's on the other side of the door. Oh god. 
Okay. Oh. Just back here. Cool. Um, I suppose we go upstairs then. And what would that be? Oh, it's a door. <laughs> I thought it was a door, but when it just popped up and I had to press another button to open it for some reason. I was a bit confused. Oh man. The graveyard's the last place you want to be with zombies. I don't even know why I'm out here. What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? There was an arrowhead there. Don't need an arrowhead for one of the doors. Ah. Oh. The typical everything's locked from the other side. I'm getting out of here before something bad happens. So that's just creepy. Get inside. Come on. Ah. Even though there was nothing out there, it was still scary. There's probably more things in here than out there. Oh man, so many doors. Most of them locked. <laughs> Before the rest of these bloody emblems would be good. Emblem of armor. What emblem do I have? God damn it. Emblem. Examine. Doesn't tell me what type of emblem it is. Okay then. Oh, that's very useful. Hey, there's an open door. What's behind door number five? Oh man, this place looks not so good. Ooh, there's something. Is there another dagger? Ooh, yay, defensive dagger. More locked doors. What was that? Can I, can I take the- OH SHIT! Yeah, got it. What are you doing? No, no, no. Okay, I need to move because he's just going to keep getting up. And I've only got a few bullets left. Alright, well, um. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and learned something. This is my first look at this game. I'm going to play off camera now for a bit and then show you guys some more later on if you want to see it that is so um yeah have a good one and i'll see you when i see you